This is Twit. Line one, Jim in Bend, Oregon. Hello, Jim. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Hi. Thank hey. you very much for taking my call. And Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas. Thank you. I have a question for you. I just bought a uh, new Chrome OS uh, made by Dell. It's uh, Dell 14. Yeah. It comes, it comes with OS 71. Now, I want to download the APK app so I can watch uh, off of Google Play. I can watch some of the TV, uh, yeah. free TV shows. Yeah. And it wants you to, when I read about it, it says you have to put it into uh, developer mode by rebooting. No, 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 it may be that that Dell, I don't know, it doesn't support the Play Store, but but most new, in fact, I think all the new Chromebooks do. So, uh, what you want to do is put the play, is use the Play Store on Chrome OS, and that will not require you to go into developer mode. That makes it a, a more insecure. So that's not what you want. Well, see, what I did is I went to the Play Store on this, and I can download about eighty percent. Oh, of I get it. You want to download stuff you can't download on the Play Store. Well, the the APK file, and when I it'll download it to my thing, but it won't install it. Right, and it says you have to be in the developer mode. Yeah. And what I found was on I, I was reading about it in the old Chromebooks, uh, maybe uh, OS forty four or something like that. They said they had a developer switch, and all you had to do was throw the switch and yeah. it went into it. And, I, and then they took it out. Well, on this new one, I'm in Chrome extensions, and it has the developer mode switch. They must have put it back in. I don't. I'm not sure, but. I flip it and I can't figure out if it's doing anything. It brings down something, uh, a menu that says load unpacked, pack extension. Okay, ho, 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 slow down. <laughs> a couple of things. So the stuff you can install from the Play Store right. is approved, does not need developers mode. Sounds like you want to install some apps that are not in the Play Store or when you go to the Play Store, it says these are not for you. Is that right? Yeah. Well, I go to the Play Store and say download a, a program called Morpheus, and it downloads fine. And when I click install, it says it won't install because it's an APK file. Well, all all apps are AP. All Android apps are APK files. Huh? I don't know why some of them. They must have blocked some of them maybe out of the store. So yeah, I'm surprised it actually lets you download it because normally what you would see is uh, this is you can't run this program on your system and i think the tv apps you may be right morpheus is not a it's considered um probably not considered appropriate yeah um you're not getting it from the play store you're downloading it somewhere from somewhere else no, no that's right out of the play store and it downloads it just doesn't run it tells you you have to go to that page and so i um, wanted to try to this is where people on android get in trouble you know you hear about people having malware issues on android it's when you try to do this kind of stuff if you can't install it and run it from the play store i strongly recommend against it i'm at the morpheus site which by the way to go to the morpheus site i had to go through a google warning your connection is not private <laughs> You sure you want to go there? Yes, I do. Unsafe, yes. Okay, so that's a bad start. And at the Morpheus site, it says the Morpheus TV app is not available in the Play Store because it's a pirate app. So if you want to install it on your very nice, secure Chromebook, what you have to do is turn off security. You have to go into developer mode. You can, you can go into developer mode uh, in software, it's not hard to do. You do need to reboot. That's why you're not seeing it. And and it's essentially uh, going to say, all right, I'm not going to protect you any longer. You can do anything you want now. <laughs> I wouldn't do it if I were you. I think all of these warnings should probably scare you. Um, there are some stuff, YouTube TV, uh, Dr. Mom's saying, and smart things, uh, unaccountably, the Play Store lets you install, download, but it won't install. Take it as a warning uh, that you shouldn't install it. Morpheus, I really would install, but even but if it's something like YouTube TV, and it won't install on a Chromebook, there's a reason. I'm not sure why, but uh, there's an incompatibility. It probably won't run well. I would guess there's certainly no piracy in YouTube TV or, or the Smart Things app. So. 
And there are, somebody's saying, legit apps that aren't in the store. But you better darn well know what you're doing. There is no setting on Chrome OS like there is an Android. To, you know, an Android you can say, there's a box you can check that says, I want to download stuff from other places. And it says, all right. And it gives you a big warning. Okay. Don't, please. Why don't, folks? No. <laughs> okay. Having said all that, uh, yes, you, you can enable developer mode. Uh, the best way to do this, at least in my experience, is rebooting uh, the computer, powering it off. Then you hold escape, and there's a key. They call it the refresh key. It's like a circular arrow key on the function bar. Hold escape, circular arrow, and press the power button all at the same time. It's There's no physical, in other words, there's no physical re developer switch anymore. Once it gets to that, it's going to sit there, and then you press Control-D, and that'll put, when it, when it asks you, put in the recovery media, and that'll put you in developer mode. Now, what does that do? Well, it turns off a couple of things. One, it turns off OS verification. It means that it's no longer checking to make sure that your operating system hasn't been modified by malware. Do you, folks, do you hear? I hear it's either Santa coming or alarm bells. I'm thinking it's alarm bells. Uh, you also can then install arbitrarily anything you want and mess around with it all you want. That's how you put Linux on a Chromebook. Uh, and so forth. Now, here's the good news. You can do this and then change your mind. It's not a permanent thing. Uh, if you want to turn off the developer mode, you reboot your Chromebook. And when, when you see OS verification is off, you just hit the space bar. You turn it back on. It will power wash it, thereby eliminating anything you might have put on there that's dangerous. And you'll have a nice, fresh, safe Chromebook. The whole theory of Chromebooks is uh, we're going to really limit what you do. We're only going to let you do safe things. And so that way, it's much more secure. Fortunately, most of the things most people want to do are safe. I think Morpheus, I don't want to worry about Morpheus TV. That's, that's a little sketch. It, it looks like to get the, uh, the APK, you have, I don't know, I don't think you can get that from the store unless... They offer it on the store, and then there's some sort of what it's really doing is side loading or, or something. But you, I know why you want Morpheus. <laughs> it's basically pirating TV, and the risk of doing that is, in general, is that the people who make that kind of stuff are not the most trustworthy people in the world, and who knows, <laughs> who knows what you're getting. However. It, there is a way to turn on developer mode. There is a way to install it. And the good news is, if you turn off developer mode, it'll power wash it. And and no one will know the difference. Unless it stole your credit card information while it was in the hacked mode. Leo Laporte, the tech guy.